broadband is so important for economic development purposes. Um, you know, we have businesses that um, can do business globally with access to broadband. Uh, it's also important from an education standpoint. Uh, folks getting information, uh, folks getting their, their, their GED online. Um, you know, broadband is important in that area. It's also important with uh, health care. There's a lot going on with telemedicine, uh, especially with Mississippi being as remote as it is. Uh, access to broadband is critical for uh, health care providers. And then also uh, public safety uh, and, and government use of broadband uh, is important uh, in Mississippi. What we've been trying to do in, here in, in, at Mississippi Technology Alliance is really promote the adoption of broadband. There's broadband infrastructure out there. We have cable companies, we have companies like AT&T with DSL. Um, you know, there's even cellular uh, broadband available. But really trying to educate and help uh, stakeholders understand the benefits of broadband and, and, and focusing on the adoption of broadband. That's really what we've been put, trying to put more emphasis on. Uh, we work closely also with uh, broadband service providers, entrepreneurs here in the state, and Tony can talk more about that. We, on a regular basis, have uh, companies that are trying to provide services and we try to help them with their business plan. Uh, we try to plug them into the governor's process. For example, the governor had last summer uh, accepted proposals from service providers that wanted to deploy broadband in Mississippi. And we worked with some of those service providers on their proposals that they submitted to the governor. And uh, so that's kind of where we are with that. You know, we, we, we look at national studies, and again, if you look at surrounding states, uh, what they've been doing with broadband and, and the impacts that it's had on them. I know in North Carolina, for example, their studies show that the average home, if they increase broadband use 10%, uh, that their per capita income can go up as much as $7,000 per year. That's substantial. That's economic development. Uh, you know, how, how does that happen? Well, again, as I mentioned earlier, it gives up folks an opportunity to do business from home, uh, makes them where they can, you know, uh, not only maybe go to school if they need to, uh, gather information. It helps them save money, um, you know, instead of having to go out and travel around to, to gather information and go online and, and do it. Areas such as healthcare, they're able to look at for healthcare information online. So that's that's North Carolina's experience. Uh, Kentucky uh, ha has, has had similar uh, examples where, um, again, the use of broadband has increased per capita income and, and savings. We had a, there was a study done for the state of Mississippi a couple years ago for the governor's office by a group called Connected Nations. And they said that if Mississippi could increase broadband adoption use by an average of 7% a year over the next five years, that it could mean as many as 18,000 new jobs a, a year for the state of Mississippi. So again, that's why broadband access and adoption is so, is so important for economic development.